April Morris, president of Express Effects Cosmetics and the creator of Thin Gloss. I wanted to personally thank you all from the bottom of my heart for believing in me enough to try Thin Gloss and not only try it but recommend it to your friends, your family, your co-workers and all the people that you've shared about this product because without you I could not be where I am now and I'm so grateful beyond measure. Thin Gloss is just the beginning of many other innovative products that I believe will be very pioneering and will transform the way that women use cosmetics and how they experience life in general. And I can't wait to share those with you. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I also read a quote that touched my heart that I wanted to share with you that's along the lines of giving thanks and being grateful. So I'm going to share that with you. And after that, um, I would like to share with you a few things, people, and a few things that I'm grateful for because I actually wrote a list. I can't go through the whole list, but I can at least share a few. So here's the quote. The pilgrims made seven times more graves than they did huts. No Americans have been more impoverished than these who, nevertheless, set aside a day of Thanksgiving by H.U. Westermeyer. This really touched my heart because I can't believe what it would be like to be a pilgrim. Just day in, day out necessities, trying to find food, water, and shelter. Yet they set aside a day to give thanks for what they had. And what they had pales in comparison to what we have. We have so much. And even in a time of economic hardship, we just have so much more than what they had to go through. And I'm just so grateful. Uh, just to live in this free country and in the United States and just live the life I get to live. I wanted to share with you some other things that I'm grateful for, people in general. I'm so grateful for, number one, for God. I believe in God and I believe He's my source. For you, it could be higher power or um, Mother Earth or whomever you refer to, but I really feel very connected spiritually. I also am very grateful for my mom. She's been my strength and support. I'm going to show this picture of her and I. That's my mom and I. Love my mom. When I was growing up, she was a stay-at-home mom, so I got to see her every day coming home from school for the most part. I'm so grateful for my kids. I love this picture of them. I have another picture. I love this one. It's fun. It's typical of my son. As you can tell, they thought they were really getting over on me, but I knew what they were doing in the background. <laughs> Here's what they, how big they are now. I can't believe how old they are. They are 20 and 19 right now. And here's a picture of my daughter. I just love her and my son. My son is also in the Army Reserves. I'm so proud of him for taking care of his country and being there. Um, I'm grateful for my fiance, Ilya. He has been a huge rock and a support system along this entire journey. Um, I'm also grateful for all the mentors and all the people that really have been with me to help guide me and give me advice when I didn't know where to turn or what to do next. I've spoke to about 13 of the counselors at SCORE which is a, a part of the SBA office and score.org. I would highly recommend that you seek out if you need business advice, go there, they can do it. Thank you to all of them. And I also am so grateful for others um, that have been there and really learned from their experiences and decided to share their experience with others. Bob Proctor is one. Here's a picture of me and Bob Proctor. Um, Les Brown, my mentor. His book inspired me many years ago because of what happened to him. It made me realize that anything is possible. And that's what ignited the fire in me from that very moment I read it, which was in 1995, that I could actually own my own cosmetic company and that it's possible. So I thank him for going. What he went through set me up for, to show me that I can also do some things and for anyone and there are so many others I'm grateful for my family and my aunts and my friends my dear friends that have been there when I've cried and needed a shoulder to cry on or you know 
all those things that, that you just take for granted sometimes because they're just there. But I'm thankful for beautiful scenery and, and my home and a reliable form of transportation because there was a time in my life when I didn't even have that. So, so many things to be grateful for this year. I look forward to 2010, and I want to wish you and your family a happy and memorable Thanksgiving. Thank you, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.